Hey kids, today I'm going to demonstrate how we are going to paint in layer watercolor in the grayscale. Uh, today we're going to do a practice painting because it's a new skill, so you want to get some practice before you start to do it on your final drafts. So since we drew uh, pumpkins in our last project, I thought it would be good to just draw a quick pumpkin using the skills we learned from our last um, project and then apply them uh, the painting techniques to it for a quick, uh, cute black and white or grayscale pumpkin. So I'm gonna draw on my um, on my watercolor paper a pumpkin, and um, and I'm gonna learn, paint this in the grayscale. So I'm not gonna paint it orange. I'm gonna kind of paint it to look like this. So the first thing you want to do is lay down your lightest gray. Okay, so. I'm gonna dip my paintbrush into the water and I'm gonna go to the black. So we're just using black for this part, okay? And I'm going to kind of go around to the edge a little, like that, and I'm gonna start on this side. And that's still pretty dark, so now I just dip my brush into the water and almost like paint by number, I'm reactivating that black paint that I put around the edge. I like to go around the edges first of, the, um, of whatever it is I'm painting, just so I keep them nice and neat. But then I can kind of just keep dipping my paintbrush into um, the water and spreading out that paint, that black pigment, so that it starts to be just a nice light gray. Because this is just going to be our first color, so it's going to be our light, light hue. And I'm, gonna, I'm running out of pigment, so I'm going to dip my brush into the water and then back into some black paint. And I'm going to put just a smidge down because I want to spread that out. So um, black is a really dark color, obviously, so we really want to be able to thin it out. So you, on the first layer or two, you're really not gonna use a lot of black. You're gonna use water more than anything because as you can see, I put that little um, dollop of black in the center of the pumpkin. It was pretty dark. So now I'm just gonna take my brush and move it around. So I'm just constantly dipping that paintbrush into my water and kind of moving it around. Now I'm gonna do a little outline around here here because I like to do the edges so that they stay neat and now I'm gonna activate the edges again with the water and my brush so that is how we this is how we do our first layer now we're gonna be doing portraits so they're a little more complicated than a pumpkin because you have all the facial features you're gonna you know you have to paint the eyes um, the nose, the mouth, and then there's gonna be, you're gonna be looking at a black and white photograph. And so, a little heavy there, so to get the water to thin it out. Um, you know, you're really gonna, it's gonna take a couple days to paint these paintings really well. And patience is part of watercolor, because once I get my first layer down, which I just finished, I'm going to let that set up, okay? So that means I'm gonna wait. Now, you don't have to give it overnight to wait, but you wanna wait maybe, I don't know, a minute or so, just so things can start to set up. And now I can go in for my second layer. So now I'm gonna get a little darker. So I'm gonna dip my brush into the water and then just a little bit into the black because the black is such a strong color. And now I'm gonna to start to really kind of focus on one segment at a time. So I'm gonna actually focus on this back segment, okay? And I'm just gonna do a little bit, okay? Because a little bit of black was a long way. And then I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit, okay? And I'm gonna actually take some black from here because I put so much down, and I'm gonna go to my next segment. And I'm kind of painting, just like when you did your pumpkins with the oil pastels, you want, when you did your brush strokes with your fingers, you really want to keep with the, um, the form of the pumpkin segment. So you wanna do the same thing with the, with the paint, okay? So a little black goes a long way, as you can see. And it, it kind of takes some getting used to, so that's why we're doing our practice painting to start. All right, and then I'm gonna keep doing that in each segment. So now um, I'm gonna pretend that I did each segment, so it would take me a while. I'm gonna give this a little wet time and then go on with my third layer. So I'm gonna get even a little bit darker, okay? So I'm gonna get in here and kind of lay down a little more black paint and you really start to get those shadows in so this pumpkin kind of comes back to life and looks three-dimensional and looks re more realistic. It really gives it form when I do this. 
And at the very end, I would let that set up for a week, or for a week, for a minute, and then I would get in my blackest blacks. So about four layers. I think that's fair for our first time painting in the grayscale. And then my blackest black is just gonna be in the darkest areas with it, um, of the pumpkin. Now you, when you're gonna be painting your person, you will have your black and white photocopy in front of you to look at the, at the, the grayscale. It'll be a black and white photo so you can see where the shadows are. And this pumpkin, we're just kind of kind of imagining it and working with it um, just to get the feel for, like I said, like a gray scale pumpkin painting. All right, so as you can see, if you take your, you really gotta take your time with this way of painting. Um, it's gonna take a couple of days. We might even, you know, probably take a full class period for this pumpkin, but possibly even longer. So I just want you to take your time and do a nice job and really get a feel for this so that when we do get to our portrait painting, you feel comfortable and ready to roll. Have fun painting today.